our Mahdi Tribe. It is Thursday and that means it is time for our second push-pull workout of the day. Our Mahdi Go style to be done at home. All you'll need is a set of dumbbells if you've got it or some other weighted object. Here we go. Kick things off with your daily five warm-up. You know the routine. It's in the comments below. Moving into our push-pull strength. Imam, every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. You got two movements. Minute one, you're going to do 12 slow dumbbell sumo deadlifts. Minute two, 12 slow push-ups. Rest the remainder of those minutes. Repeat that cycle six times for a total 12 minutes. Slow dumbbell sumo deadlift. The sumo deadlift is going to start with my feet outside the hips. Some of you go a little wider, some will be a little bit more narrow. I'm going to grab those dumbbells. I'm going to kind of half hip hinge, half squat, keeping my chest up a little bit, butt down just a little. My back is flat. Grab onto those dumbbells and drive those hips forward and back down. When I descend, I'm going to shove my hips backwards, okay? Instead of just squatting, letting the knees come forward, keep those knees back just a little bit, okay? That is the sumo deadlift, and then slow push-ups. You could do them to a deficit on the dumbbells if you'd like. I want you to maybe count to two or three seconds on the way down, two or three seconds on the way up. One, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Do whatever you're comfortable with but work the strength out of those push-ups. From there, we're moving into our push-pull workout, the conditioning portion. Four rounds for max reps. So you're gonna have four movements that make up a whole round, and then four of those rounds for a total of 16 minutes of work today. Minute one, sumo deadlift high pull. So we're gonna take that sumo deadlift we started in the strength component, we're gonna add a high pull component to it. Minute two, one minute of burpees. Minute three, dumbbell push press. Minute four, mountain climbers for that minute. Count all of the reps through that round, total it up, and then go back through three more times. So here are your movements. Sumo deadlift high pull. I'm going to go back into my sumo deadlift position, turn the dumbbells just a little bit, and I'm going to try to keep my knuckles pointed to the floor as I high pull up at the very top of my hips opening up. So it'll look like this here, boom, pull, and down, here, pull. If that doesn't feel great, go ahead and take one dumbbell and you can hold the heads this way and high pull, or if you don't like that, you want it a little more elevated, take a single dumbbell again, grab it kind of like a, a goblet and high pull out of it that way, okay? Burpees all the way to the floor, all the way up, and a hop at the top, keeping those feet hip width apart. If you need to step back, take a knee and lunge and up, that is perfectly fine as well. Dumbbell push press, pick those dumbbells up, get them up into the front rack position, feet under your hips, and you're gonna dip, drive, and punch through that movement, okay? Remember, you have a minute to work through this. If your dumbbells are heavy, you may need to break up that minute or take your time between reps. Don't gun it and run out of steam because a minute is a really long time if you got a lot of weight to press. And then one minute of mountain climbers down to your plank position. You're gonna alternate your feet, trying not to jump your hips way up high, switching your feet as quick as you can, bringing that front knee towards your chest without rounding the back too much. There you have it, your push-pull workout for Thursday, April 16th. Have some fun with this one, get after it, push it, bring it, whatever you need to do to have a great workout and feel accomplished. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, please, please hold the standard. Thanks.